Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert. Today I'd like to speak with you about some gas-powered lawnmower maintenance. These are things that you can do yourself that will make a huge difference in how the unit operates as well as prolonging its life. We're going to talk about changing the oil, changing the air filter, changing the spark plug, and changing the blade. These are all things you can do yourself. Let me show you how it's done. First thing we're going to do is replace the spark plug on the engine. On this particular unit, the spark plug's in the front. This wire right here is a spark plug wire that you're just going to grab firmly onto and pull straight out. It kind of clips in there. You can see there's a little metal clip inside there that goes right on top of the spark plug. Now you can purchase uh, one of these spark plug wrenches that we're going to be using here. They have different sizes depending on the size of the spark plug. So you just have to orient it so it's the right size and throw this little rod inside there. These uh, loosen like a regular nut, so righty tighty, lefty loosey. I'm going to place that on there and I'm going to just kind of put a little pressure on there and you'll see that it loosens almost right away. Once you kind of get that done, you can take it by hand and kind of loosen it all the way out. This is the top of the piston of the engine right here. Now you can see that's a pretty old spark plug and you see all that carbon buildup that's in there. That's why we want to replace this. It's a good idea depending on how often you cut the lawn at your home. Probably going to do this maybe not every year but every other year makes a lot of sense. But what's important is that you get the right spark plug. So right here you'll see on the side of the spark plug the number that corresponds with the plug that you need to use. So this is an RJ19LM, which we happen to have right here in a package here. It happens to be the same brand. So I'm just going to open that up. Now, typically these are pre-gapped. Not sure if you can see that with the camera, but this little metal rod right here in that tip, there's a gap that has to go in there and they send these out pre-gapped. If for some reason you notice that this in the shipment of the package is smashed down against there, this plug is no good. You need to make sure that you pull that little piece of metal away. There needs to be a gap between the two. So now we're going to take that spark plug right back in that hole and we're going to tighten it back up by hand until it gets snug. Now one thing that I can tell you is you're going to take that wrench one more time. I don't want you to crank on this like with a ton of pressure but you need to put it in position and then give it one good little turn to make it nice and snug and that's it. Now we're going to do some more work on this lawnmower so I'm going to leave this wire off for now because we're going to tip it on its side that way the engine will not start if this wire is not connected so we're going to leave that off but just for the sake of the demo once you put that plug on you just push this back on and you're done. But as I mentioned I'm going to leave that off now we're going to go to the air filter. The air filter on this particular lawnmower is on this side of the unit. It is next to the carburetor. So if you kind of look where you see the carburetor maybe on the engine that you have, it's typically adjacent to the gas tank on uh, the unit. If you have your owner's manual, it will definitely describe the location. On this particular unit, it's this one screw right here that I'm going to loosen up and, and remove to expose the air cleaner. Now a clean air cleaner allows the engine to run more smoothly. It breathes easier. It actually helps you get uh, more out of a tank of gas and as you can see here this uh, filter hasn't been changed in a very long time and when you take a, a filter out like that and you see that kind of dirt and debris on there that engine's working overtime uh, every time you're operating it and it can mean that it's harder to start use more fuel when you're cutting the grass and it will actually hinder the emissions as well. And so you want to make sure that you're purchasing the correct air filter, which we did. And when you take this off and you look inside there, make sure there's no debris in here that you want to kind of brush away with your hand just to remove it in there. And then we've got the brand new filter right here that corresponds with the one we're taking out. And um, you're going to just go ahead and it's so easy to install these that it goes right back in place. Look at how much nicer that looks than the one we just took out of there. It fits right in place there and then on this particular unit you've got these tabs right here. They go in on the bottom. You line it up, push this back in place and then you tighten up the screw. It's that simple 
to replace the air filter on a lawnmower. Uh, many of these either use a screw or it clips off. You tighten that up nice and snug and you're done. Now to change the oil, we have to drain the old oil out of the engine. What's important is locating how you remove the oil from the unit. On this particular model, there's no oil drain plug on the engine itself. You actually have to tip the unit over. So I'm gonna take the uh, dipstick out of here and place it off to the side. This unit is empty of fuel. You have to make sure that there's no fuel whatsoever in the gas tank because when you tip that over, you don't wanna risk spilling any uh, gasoline in an area where you're working. Now I have an oil pan right here and I've got this lifted off there. So I'm actually gonna tip the, the mower off to the side to get that oil out of the engine. And you're gonna see that it's gonna be black and oily. As the oil starts to come out, you know, if you start to see metal shavings or any kind of debris coming out of the crankcase, then you could have a problem with the engine. But if it's just dark black oil, that's just signifying that you need to change it and you're doing a good job. While the oil is draining, uh, this is a good time uh, to actually go ahead and remove the blade for replacement. You've got a single nut right here, uh, different sizes. It happens to be a 5 8 uh, wrench that I'm going to use. And even though this blade is going to be replaced, it still can be sharp. So be careful when you put your hand on there. This is a regular thread, so it goes, uh, it loosens the same way. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. And I'm going to loosen that blade up. And I'm going to take that nut all the way off from the engine shaft. Now we have the proper blade to go ahead and replace this with. But as you can see, there's a fair amount of grass debris on the underside. It's a good time now to just go ahead and take a putty knife and just scrape all that away because this particular mower uh, is, a, is a, a mulching mower. And so if you remove some of this old debris that's underneath there, it's just gonna operate uh, more efficiently and do a better job of mulching uh, the grass if that's what you choose to use your mower with. So we have the correct corresponding blade. We're gonna orient it properly onto the um, shaft of the engine. This is the base, the plate that goes over the base plate here to mount it. And now that bolt, we line up to go back inside to the shaft and we tighten it. Use your fingers to kind of get it snug to hold it in place. And we come back with our wrench now and we're gonna go ahead and tighten that and really make sure this is nice and snug. Um, again, you don't wanna over tighten, but you wanna make sure that as you put that pressure on there, you feel a good solid firm hold on that nut around that blade and now we're ready to tip the unit back over and put the fresh oil in. Okay, with all the oil uh, removed now, it's time to add the new oil. We've got some uh, regular lawnmower oil here for four cycle engines. This is an SAE 30 weight, which is designed for warm weather applications. This particular bottle is 18 fluid ounces. Now, an empty engine will take all of this, but you may not get all the oil out. So what I would do is I would add about half of it first, and then we're gonna make sure uh, with using the dipstick of how much oil is in there. See the difference of that fresh oil kind of has that golden look to it, as opposed to the black oil that came out. Okay, with about half of that bottle in there, I'm gonna go ahead and put the dipstick in there, crank it down, give it a second. And I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to see how much oil I have in there. And when I look closely, it may be difficult to see, but it looks like it needs a little bit more. So we're going to add a little bit more oil. You really don't want to overfill this, um, but it, if you do overfill it, don't worry. The engine will burn it off a little bit, but it should take just about all of this 18 fluid ounces in that crankcase because it's specifically designed for it. Now we've got the right amount of oil. We crank that down, put the wire back on the spark plug, and you're done. 
These few maintenance tips will make sure that your gas powered lawnmower is running at its peak efficiency and able to cut that grass when you need it. Now remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and always, if you need more advice, just visit your local Ace Hardware store. Remember, Ace is the helpful place.